I started off and did an internship here in 2011-2012 and then worked part time in the sub academy while I finished my degree in DCU and then came in here full time I think in 2013 firstly as a GPS sports scientist then as a full time coach in the sub academy last year I was with the academy and then uh, this year I've taken on that senior strength position. So I suppose what's important to us is expression of force on the pitch for players. So the main focus of the strength program for pre-season is to bring us back up to the high levels of strength that guys had before they went away on their break. So with that in mind, we do quite a lot of lifting, focusing on maximum strength and power this time of year. And then a lot of the other stuff, the speed and agility side of things, kind of forms that transfer between developing those strength and power capabilities and actually laying those down on the pitch. Um, another thing that's kind of become important to us is an emphasis on skill development. So what we're going to be doing today is introducing a skill component to our gym sessions as well. So players will move from a lifting component to a skill component and back again. So that's, we'll see how that goes. That's kind of experimental for the time being. But in that way, we feel like we're trying to address the key elements of how strength and power actually translate to performance on the pitch. If in total they have a five week break, you probably get a, you certainly get a less detraining effect if you split that into a three week and a two week break than if you just leave guys to their own devices for a five week period. Secondly, because of the amount of work that we do in pre-season, the intensity there is on the pitch and the quantity of gym work that we do, it's probably advantageous to us to do a block, allow them to recover, bring them back in for another block and then the gains that we get from the same amount of training in a split scenario is probably hopefully greater than it would be if we went continuously. Yeah, so the number of players that we have more or less stays the same because at the moment our academy and senior squad are training together. So once the international and touring players come back in and the academy will split away. So the number of players that we're actually catering for probably stays the same. Then the demands of those players because of their training age and because of the stage that they are coming back in off pre-season is different, so we'll, we'll divide the content of guys' training programs according to those needs.